Hello people, this is Code Grind, and in today's video, we'll be designing yet another animated navigation bar using CSS3 and a little bit of JavaScript. So I have already created a few of these animated navigation bars in the past. If you want to view them, click on the link in the description box, or you can also click on the link above. And I'll also be creating these navigation bars in the future. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the updates. Now this is the project which we'll be working on in today's video. So here I have got a navigation bar with a few options and whenever I click on any one of them we get this uh, underline this animated underline starting from the bottom left of the option. So let's get straight into it. So here I've got this basic layout ready. I have linked an external CSS file in which we'll be doing all the styling part. Now let's get started with our HTML part. So let's wrap all our things inside a div with a class of container and then we'll have a heading which is just a brief description of what we'll be creating inside a paragraph like animated navigation bar using CSS3 and JavaScript. The JavaScript part in this uh, navigation bar is very less and then we'll have a UL inside this an li not a single li actually four li so one can be home then about us settings newsfeed and at last let's also have another li with sign out so this is it for the html part now let's get into styling so we'll start our styling by nullifying the browser's default settings that is margin zero, padding zero, and box sizing of border box. We'll also change the font to Poppins. It's a good font to work with if you like uh, sans serif fonts. I'll give a link in the description from where you can download this font and install it in your systems. Otherwise, you can always go to Google Fonts for uh, Poppins. Now, the next thing which we'll be doing is selecting our body and changing the background color to something like 091921 this is a good background color if you want to work in dark mode and then a color of white yeah this is good now then we'll give it a display of flex and justify content of center so that it is all horizontally aligned like this yeah now we'll select our heading and increase its font to 2m it's a heading it should look big a text align of center to it and at last a top and bottom margin of 4m so this is it for the heading now let's design our navigation bar i am positioning this uh, in this uh, something around the center of the page but generally you uh, the navigation bar is placed at the top so placing and um, that means positioning is completely upon you I will just uh, tell you about the styling a uh, list style type of none because we don't want uh, these bullets in the list items yeah then a display of flex this will horizontally uh, that means arrange them in a row and then a width of 90 VW that means it will cover 90% of the width of window and then we'll give it a justify content of space between like this so this is it for designing the list items now we'll design this complete thing uh, let me give it a border so that it's more clear one pixel solid white so this is our navigation bar right now uh, let's change its border radius to something like 10 pixels and also provide it with some padding 20 pixels would be good yeah so this is it for this now we'll be giving it a new morphism effect using box shadows so there is a website a new morphism.io i'll give a link to this website in the description box now when you come here you can just uh, put any color you want like we're working with uh, hash 091921 so i have already put this uh, color code in here and based on this color code and the various values which you decide it will generate a code like this one over here you can simply copy it and paste it in your CSS and it will give you the new morphism effect 
like if I remove this border right now so here we have got this uh, neomorphism effect by the help of box shadows now if you want to learn what neomorphism is I will give a link in the description of my playlist on what is neomorphism and how you can create very cool things using it don't forget to watch the playlist now let's design the underline effect which will be giving to the allies so for that first we'll select every ally and give it a cursor of pointer so that all of the, the all of them look clickable like this and we'll give them a position of relative because we will be positioning this underline in reference to the allies and also text a line of center yeah now what we will do is uh, by default the underline should be in the this home option so we will give a class of active to this home like this and now we will design the ally with the class active so whichever ally has the class active we will select select its pseudo element after and we will get a position of absolute and whenever you are working with pseudo elements you got to have the content without content anything won't be displayed now the height of the underline that will be 3 pixels and the width will be 100% and we'll change its background color now with dark mode there is a pink color FF105E this looks really good on this color so this is the underline we have got and now we need to position it so a left of 0 yeah and then a bottom of 0 now this bottom of zero is really sticking with the text so we can shift it a bit more towards the downside like minus seven pixels yeah this looks good now when I zoom it in you see we get this rectangular strip uh, of an underline here over here so we can actually change this by changing the border top left and the actually the top left radius and the top right radius like a border top left radius of let's say 2 pixels so this will make the top left radius a bit curvy and we will do the same with the top right radius and this will really give a solid effect to the underline because everything doesn't look good if they have sharp edges a bit of curviness always is good now we'll give it an animation like uh, animation which will make it look like it's appearing from the left side so let's call it appear for 0 0.2 seconds and linear now let's define this animation so keyframes appear from so we'll uh, from width of 0 to a width of 100 percent so you see whenever i reload the page this animation takes this let's increase the time so that you can see what's actually happening I reload it and this animation takes place now this is it uh, for a static thing but we want what we want is whenever we click on any of these options this underline should shift to that op particular option so for that what we will do is we will just be changing this class active so when I click on about us this class of active should be removed from the home option and should be added to this about us so for that let's go to the javascript part at the end of our body tag we will select every one of our allies using the document dot query selector all and we'll select every ally now we will run a for each loop oh. so for each loop and then on the clicking event on of any of these allies so add event listener click we will run a function now like this one so first of all what it will do is it will select every ally and then for each ally we will run a clicking event function and inside this what we will do is we will first select the ally with the class active so this will currently the class active is in the home option so it will select the home ally and we will remove the class of active from it so now let's go to the inspect element and see what's actually happening so in here you see let's reduce its size so right now the class active is in the home now whenever i click on any of these allies like say on about us 
this class of active gets removed from the home option so till now this is working completely fine now we need to add the class active to the item which is clicked on so simply item dot class list dot add active so this is it for the javascript part and now we will see the complete functioning of this navigation bar now when i click on about us the class active gets removed therefore the underline gets removed and when i click on about us uh, the class active gets added to this li and the underline effect also gets added so this is how you can create an animation animated navigation bar you must have seen this effect in a lot of websites especially in mobile apps now you know how to create it so if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more such amazing tutorials on css and javascript and thank you for watching